Alright guys, how's it going? Iron Man here. And what I have for you today is is not iPhone related specifically, although it can be depending on how you use this. What I'm going to show you today is easy FTP and upload services. The right way you can upload files and or images. And when I say files, I mean anything. Any, any image type, any file type, any extension in under 30 seconds without actually going to a website. This will show you how to upload from your uh, status bar on your Mac and it will allow you to upload and instantly give you a link so you can share with your friends, family, whether it be on, what, excuse me, whether it be on Facebook, Twitter, or you're just sending something through Skype and you want to give somebody a URL to your specific thing. So what I have for you today is actually called Tiny Grab. You can see the application icon right here that it is currently on my dock. I picked this up. It is a $14.99 application. But if you're lucky for you, if you're watching this video today, you can look at the date. Today is Tuesday, November 10th. For the next two days until November 12th, I believe, um, this application is currently free along with five others on MacHeist.com. We're going to go up and bring up Firefox right now, and here we are. You can see the stats rolling up as we speak. This gives you the new and improved Nano Bundle. This gives you six top Mac applications for free, over $150, um, you know, savings right here. As you can see, the people, the savings, and the number of excuse me, <laughs> participants. And there is exactly two days left, so I was right on that one. November 12th, you get Tiny Grab along with many others for free if you so choose. Um, you can go to my receipt right here. They give you the serial number and everything. It's legit. You get free updates, free everything. There's no scam here. For those of you that know Mac Heist, know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's get into my application and what I'm actually going to show you today. Now, what does Tiny Grab do? What's its purpose and how does it work? Tiny Grab is an upload service intended for images only, but does work for files with any extension to your um, via FTP server. Now, here we are. We're going to go ahead and open up Tiny Grab. Once it's open, there's really nothing that comes up unless it's an actual update to the application. But in your status bar, you have this black like picture icon such as the one right here. So you can go ahead and click on it. It will give you a list of date and time when you upload your last ones and when clicked, we'll go to that link and open the file. Excuse me, more than my phone. You can upload the image, disable uploading, check the preferences, check for updates, and you can quit Tiny Grab. Now we're going to go to check for updates. I don't care if you see my FTP, this won't last very long, um, that service won't last very long unless you guys really want to use mine, uh, go ahead and let me know and I'll give you a free one, uh, hit me up on Twitter. So you have a lot of uh, general settings, you have your FTP account and my account, my account just shows me your email and your password and what you logged in to do. Now you can simply hit Tiny Grab and it will upload to their service which is grab.by. Now what this essentially does is um, uploads it using their service and we're gonna go ahead and show you I mean there's really no harm in not in showing you right so once we've on there once we're on their service we can upload an image let's go ahead and use this upload takes two seconds you get the confirmation and your newest link at the top when clicked will go to their service here's the image that I uploaded and you get a tiny URL so this URL can be used to share with friends and family and it's easy navigation to this picture where they can then grab it, take it, put it on their desktop and off they go. Now what I found useful for me and probably many other uh, users out there that have their own websites is you can upload anything and share anything with you know whatever you want. So we'll go into my preferences and we'll log into my FTP server. This is my FTP, we're going to go ahead and test and get the check mark, we can save. Now you enter your website URL which is with backslash on where you want the files to upload. Uh, after that you type in your server information and the path and you hit test. If you give it a check mark you're good to go. If not, check your settings, make sure everything's correct with you and your server. Click save. Once that's done, I'm good to go. I can upload anything and share it with Twitter, Facebook and all kinds of good stuff. So, I can actually click on upload image or you can even drag files up into this icon which is very handy. So we're going to go ahead and upload an image and we're going to upload, let's see, what do we got here, Apple Store Love Song. You can see right here in the icon. Excuse me. You can see right here in the cough there. Um, it is blue. It will take longer to upload rather than an image, simply because for obvious reasons of the file being a different size. 
So once the icon uh, turns white with this specific arrow and you get the confirmation noise, it has been uploaded to your server successfully and when clicked will play that specific uh, file, whether it be an mp3, show you the file, or download the zip. So there it goes, check mark, we got the confirmation. We'll click on my newest one and it will start playing. Loading the quick time. This is a love song. I try not to be dramatic. And for video purposes, that is copyrighted. I actually do have permission to use his song in some of my videos, so that's not really a problem. But as far as that goes, this will be taken off of my thing. So by the time you see this link, don't worry, you're not going to get this free on iTunes. It will be deleted after a video um, because this is a copyrighted song. So you can go ahead and play the whole song. And you're pretty much golden. So. The bad part about the way that I do things is that my service does not make you create URL shorteners and it does not shorten it right off the bat. But with me, if you use my service, fml.im, which is my new website, I can simply hit shorten, grab my new URL, copy it, and upload to Twitter. So we will now put this in my top bar. There it is right there. And when entered, there we have it. I can share mp3s, .zip files, um, basically it's my own upload service that nobody knows about except um, when I share. And what I mean by that is you can't go to this site and upload, I mean it's blank. All it does is upload files. So it's really clean, it's really convenient, it's easy to use, it uploads, gives you a link within 30 seconds. I mean here it is, here's my newest file, I can simply click and it goes to it. I can then shorten the URL and easy share. Simple as that, super easy. I really wanted to share this with you guys. I really found this out about five minutes ago that I was able to do this. Um, great application. It's a steal, literally. I mean, you're punching this dude in the face and taking this application is what you're doing. Uh, go get this. If not, if you're watching this video late, 15 bucks, I would definitely do this. Yes, I would pay 15 bucks for this. It's so useful. Um, sorry for the delay. I don't know how long this video was, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it and take this into consideration and, you know, use this wisely. Again, this link will be taken off for video purposes. Um, you guys don't need to be stealing that. Go buy it. And I will coach you guys later. Hope you guys have a good one.